Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So today I have a vlog of just a bunch of random stuff that I've been up to. Um, so the first thing I wanna show you is this amazing uh, salad recipe that my niece taught me and honestly it is the best salad if you're a picky eater like I am. Um, I've been eating it for years. I used to eat it when I was on a diet, when I was trying to lose weight and now I just eat it as part of my like daily life um, whenever I really want to I absolutely love it and then also I'm going to show you my skincare routine I do get quite a lot of questions on my skincare routines um, so I'll just show you that as well and then I'm going to be going to Southport with my family to do some wedding shopping for my sister who's getting married um, soon so that'll be really really fun I'll take you along that as well so yeah it's just gonna be a fun week of doing a bunch of random bits um, that I'll take you along to and um, please subscribe while you're here it really does help me out and like this video and let's get into it Okay, so starting off with how to make the salad, I usually get these burgers from Tahira. You can get them from like any store. I pretty much know that all Muslims know about them, but they're just really quick and easy, but you can use like normal chicken if you'd like. I put the burgers in the air fryer for about seven minutes, and then I put an egg to boil in this little egg boiler I got from Aldi. So the things you'll need are your chopped salad of choice. So I have lettuce, cucumber, onions, spring onions, lemon, and then some jalapenos as well, because I like that extra bit of spice. For my sauces, I choose sweet chili and ketchup because they're the only kind of sauces I like, I'm super picky. The most important part to making this salad is all about layering, which is what gives it the most flavor. So you get all of your specific salad items and sprinkle them on one by one. I like to add a little bit of chili garlic seasoning and then I cut up my burgers once they're ready. I just slice them into little cubes and then sprinkle them onto the salad as well. Then I add a little bit of my sauces on and remember to go a little bit because you're gonna do that layer again. The egg is usually done by then and then I just chop it up and pop it to the side with a lemon. This is honestly the most nicer salad I've ever, ever tried. I just added one of these medjool dates from Tesco and broke my fast. Hey everyone, so I'm just gonna do my skincare routine now. Um, so I just had a shower now, so my skin is really dry. So I'm just gonna take you through all the products I use and the steps I do. Um, just a quick little background about my skin. To be fair, I've had pretty good skin my whole life, alhamdulillah. And I never really used any type of skincare. I used just splash water on my face every day. Um, I never went through teenage acne as well, which was super lucky. But then um, once I got married, I went through quite a bit of hormones and I had so many spots all around my forehead here. So I'll insert a picture if I can find it, but it was so bad and it took me almost like a year to get rid of. Okay, so the first thing I use is a vitamin C cream from Typology. I'm gonna try to be those YouTubers now, so here you go. So yeah, so this is a vitamin C serum from Typology. So mixed with that, I use the Dior Capture Total and this is like an anti-aging serum. And apparently you're meant to be using anti-aging serums from like 25 and I'm 25 now. So I'm hoping that this stuff actually works. Before I used to use moisturizer first, but apparently that's the worst thing you could do. The moisturizer is meant to be the last thing you put on your skin because it acts as a barrier to your skin. So all the serums and stuff that you're applying afterwards doesn't really seep into your skin and do much. Take a little bit of the vitamin C serum and I just pop it on to my cheeks and my forehead. I just get some Dior serum and then I mix it together. The first size of aging are also your hands, your neck and your forehead. So usually what I do with all the leftover product that is on my hands, I just rub on the back of my hands and down to my neck as well. So the next thing I use is this Glossier lip balm. Um, these are really, really nice. I don't think I've come across a lip balm that I really, really like, but these ones are so creamy and they're so, they just really work for your lips. And then on top of that, I go in with this Estee Lauder lip balm. It's so incredibly beautiful. The packaging is just lovely. That's what it looks like. I love it. And next, I go in with the most important step, which is sunscreen. One of my friends, she told me that sunscreen is so important for your skin. And I kind of already knew it, but I just never really did it. Um, and she sent me a few recommendations and one of the recommendations was this brand. And it's a Korean brand. And I really, really like it. I honestly, I think it really does great things to your skin. So I cannot recommend a sunscreen enough. It's really important to wear sunscreen even in the winter. Next, after the sunscreen, I used an eye cream. So this is one from Estee Lauder. I really do like the Estee Lauder products. And this eye cream is uh, really nice because it has a cooling gel effect, which just kind of depuffs the eyes. Honestly, I don't know if eye creams even work. I think they're a little bit of a scam because I don't think it does much. And the last thing I go in with is moisturizer. So this is the Estee Lauder moisturizer. It's like the same as the eye cream. I really like the whole Estee Lauder range. I think they're really good quality. Um, and yeah, this is just a really nice moisturizer. So I'll just apply that everywhere. 
So this is the actual last thing I go in with, which is an eyelash serum, and this is the one. Honestly, I don't know if eyelash serums work. I just really want my lashes to grow. Okay, and this is, sorry, this is the actual last final step. So the last thing I go in with is a hand cream on the back of my hands. Again, hands are just so important um, to make sure that you are moisturizing them. So I just go in like this and I rub the back of my hands together. And that is my entire skincare routine. So not a lot and not too many steps. But if I could recommend two products at the whole thing, these are the two that I would recommend. The vitamin C cream and the sunscreen. These two are such amazing products and I think these are the things that have really changed my skin um, and made it a bit more glowy and just made it look really kind of smooth. And yeah, and this is my skincare routine that I do every day. My husband's gonna kill me for sharing this, but I just want to know, who is he going to war with for his side to end up looking like that? Like, how is this man sleeping for the entire bed sheet to come off? I just don't understand because my side never looks like that. Um, yeah. So we're just going to Nando's now because I've been having really bad cravings for it. For some reason, I've been seeing it on TikTok and I just want to go and get like the butterfly chicken, the rice, the garlic bread, the chips, just all of it. Um, I just broke my fast with a date and some water and we're just heading there now. So I'll show you what I get. After Nando's, we quickly popped into TK Maxx. I wasn't expecting to find anything. I just wanted to look around, but I did actually find something that I really liked and I just could not, not get it. I saw the bag right at the back and I really liked the shape and the color. So I thought I'd just check it out. Um, I wasn't sure, so I actually left it, but then I went back for it like an hour later because I really, really wanted it. So I did actually end up getting the bag and this is what it looks like in better light. I really, really love it. I know it's a bit more, like the style is a bit different. It's giving me old money and like summer picnic vibes. I really, really like it. Um, and the cashier actually gave me a little bit of 10% off as well. So I got it cheaper than the price tag. So you can wear it this way um, and it comes with a little crossbody. The only thing I don't like is the fact that it doesn't have a zip or anything. So I'm going to have to be careful, but I just put like a drawstring bag in there um, if I want to put my purse and stuff in there. But you can actually wear the bag another way as well. So let me just show you. This is the other way that you can wear it. So it has this little handle or something that you can just tie around here and then change the shape of the bag. I think this shape is much cuter than the other shape. Although the other shape is really nice. It's giving me a bit more picnic, but I think this is more kind of everyday style. But yeah, let me know what you think. I really, really like it. I actually did do a bag clear out yesterday. I just, I literally at like 10 p.m. at night, I just had the sudden urge to get rid of loads of stuff. Um, so this is kind of what I'm left with. I will do a full on bedroom tour. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. So I will do a full on room tour with going into everything, like all my drawers and everything like that soon. So just to give an overview of what my shelves are looking like, I have my perfumes here, my mini perfumes here. I'll go into a bit more of a detailed view of all of these in another video. Um, and then I just have my bags on here. And on the second one, more bags, but this little basket here is for all my camera stuff. Um, I thought it was really handy actually just having it there with easy access. And then I just have my little Dyson blow dryer up here. This was kindly gifted to me by Dyson, which is literally the most craziest thing that's happened to me and this personalized. Um, and then in this box, we have more bags that are smaller. And then the last one, we just have a bunch of random stuff. But yeah, again, I will go into a bit more of a detailed review once I do my room tour. So guys, um, I just wanted to kind of rant a little bit about this little floof right here. If you follow me on Instagram, you know literally this boy is the love of my life. But for some reason, I don't know why, but he just, he just won't allow me to work. Like obviously I have a desk and he will basically come and sit right on my keyboard and he won't let me type. He'll keep biting me. Um, he just won't allow me to work and... I don't know if it's because of the holidays, so I've been off work and I've been able to spend a lot more time with him and kind of like not do much. But, um, oh, yeah, I'm talking about you. Like today I had a lot of work to do and he just would not allow me to do it. Um, I literally had to lock him out of the door and put some pillows underneath the door so he wouldn't scratch the door to try to get in for me to do some work. What he really wants is for me to basically just 
lay down and do nothing so obviously like we have movie nights and I, I'll watch tv and stuff and I'll lay down and what he wants to do is basically he wants to sleep oh Mika, please. What he usually did was have his midday nap. So obviously cats sleep a lot and so he used to nap quite a lot throughout the day. Um, but just recently he will not nap unless I am laying down and do nothing. So throughout the entire day he does not nap. He just follows me around. He just gets in my way. He does not let me work. He doesn't let me do content. He doesn't let me do anything. But, but what do you have to say for yourself? But, but tell everyone what you have to say for yourself. Have you been a cheeky boy? Good morning guys. Um, so we were meant to go to South Hall today to do wedding shopping for my sister. Um, but unfortunately one of my other sisters cancelled and my other sister's car was not working. So just a bunch of stuff that went wrong. So unfortunately I'm not going, which sucks because I was actually quite excited to go. Um, I feel like the last time I went to South Hall was for my wedding. And it's just really fun like shopping for a wedding and stuff, but all good. I got up early to get ready to go to South Hall so um, I basically just went back to sleep and now I'm up for the day um, so I'm just going to go pray quick and then I'm going to go to Home Bargains and grab some bits that I need so I'll just take you along to there. Um, I did want to show you Mika's new bed because um, if you follow me on Instagram then you'll have seen I sold his old bed which was humongous i guess it's not a bed it's a cat tree but um, it was so big so i'll insert a picture here and um, it was so big it, it was just such an eyesore i really wasn't a fan but when i bought it i didn't realize the size of it and then mika really liked it so i just couldn't return it um but recently i said early in the vlog that he's just not been using it so i thought that this would be the perfect time to get rid of it and i sold it on facebook market for really, really cheap it literally went within 30 minutes and i was just so glad to get rid of it um but i bought this new one from argos for only 30 pounds um so i'll just show you that so this is his new bed, it's so much smaller and I just love the aesthetic of it, obviously it matches my decor so well because it's white, fluffy. What I really liked was the fact that this bed size was quite big, I think it's like 45 centimeters and if you do have a bigger cat, this is so great for them because um, it actually means that they can sleep on there properly. When I first got it yesterday and I built it, he was not interested, but it's so nice to see that he's actually all right with it. And as you can see, he's still a bit big for it, but he loves like being tight and squeezed when he goes to sleep anyway. Well, we'll show people your new bed. Do you like your new bed? Mika doesn't meow and he only speaks with his tail. So if his tail wiggles, then that's when he's communicating with me. So watch this, I'm just talking to you guys. But then when I talk to him, he'll wiggle his tail. Bubble, you okay? What are you up to? You just laying down on your bed? Is it nice and cozy? See, like he can tell the difference when I'm just talking normally and then when I'm actually talking to him and he'll just wiggle his tail. So what a smart boy, boy, boy. Let's go to Home Bargains. I haven't been to Home Bargains in so, so long. So I'm planning to take my time today and just look around and look at all the new stuff they have. I saw these lovely heart baskets and then also these labels. Home Bargains just honestly have the best prices. I think the labels are like 250. dollars um, Also, they've already started getting out all their Valentine's stuff. And this is such a great time to stock up on those little gifts. If I'm honest, when I see holiday sections in stores like Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, Christmas, I honestly see it as such a great way to buy things for like weddings or parties and gifts for my friends. They also had a huge Mother's Day section with so many nice bits. So many people were staring at me recording so I felt super awkward. Okay, to all my brides, listen up, Home Bargains is the place to go for all your bridal bits. Honestly, they have so much nice bride stuff, so much decor, everything is just so affordable. I remember getting so much stuff from here for my wedding and then just being able to use it for DIY projects and stuff like that because even things like, like balloon garlands and banners and arches and all that kind of stuff they can be really pricey on amazon and other places but the fact that home bargains do it for like even two pounds as the lowest price i've seen is just insane i was so shocked but home bargains had a brand new home section the last couple of times i've been in i did not like any of the home stuff but they've completely got new bits out now and it's super trendy and in style lots of rattan i feel like the rattan style has not died down and won't die down for a while now obviously i love rattan i also love this spring wreath and then they also had a gold bar cart and also these really really tall pamper 
pampas grass. I thought these golden lanterns were absolutely beautiful and perfect for a garden. They also had these sunset lamps for only £4 which went viral on TikTok. A lot more affordable home decor items. I really like that plan. I'm sure they'll have something for your taste as well. I also spotted a ladder shelf which I know is really really popular. I feel like bamboo jars will never ever go out of trend and home bargains and Poundland by far are the cheapest I've ever seen. Again guys this is a Nando's dupe. Honestly 90p you will not regret it. So I think I did really well but these are all the random bits I got from home bargains so I pretty much stayed on track of what I needed. Okay so I'm back from home bargains. I wasn't going to film a haul because I actually didn't get much and um, it's just super basic super kind of like mundane things so I just didn't think that anyone would want to see that. But yeah, the stuff at Home Bargains was absolutely amazing. I definitely recommend you go over and have a look if you're looking for some real, real bargains. But the few things I did get that I needed were some shredded foil and then some tissue paper and they only had like blue or purple so i just got purple but i'm gonna pack a gift for my sister because her birthday soon i just thought i'd show you what i got her i got her some nice bits and i thought like you could you could get some inspo if you wanted okay so starting off with the biggest and heaviest thing i got her this um gloss oh wrong way around I got her this glossy box freeze the moment advent calendar so this was literally going absolutely crazy during um the festive period and like christmas and stuff like that when my sister she saw me have a few advent calendars she said she really wanted one so i got her this one and inside it basically has just a bunch of skincare and makeup products this is what the inside looks like i just opened up number 23 and can you believe they added like glossier products this is literally the main reason why i bought the box the next thing i got her so we quick little backstory about this so the next little thing I got her is when we were shopping we went to John Lewis it was just after the black bank holiday boxing day sorry it was boxing day sales not black friday she saw this really nice dkny bag it wasn't exactly what she wanted she really wanted like a black little bag like a crossbody and then we went to coach and she saw this bag and she really really liked it but she didn't end up getting it because it's a bit out of her price um price range that she wanted to spend um so i thought i'd get it this is the bag so it's this lovely lovely coach bag in black I do not know what it's called, but I just think it is just the most perfect everyday bag. So it has a really nice, lovely thin strap. I love thin straps because I think they look so much more classy. Inside it comes with a little kind of long pouch to hold cards and stuff. Another thing that I, well, I didn't really get her this. I was kind of gifted this, but it's totally her style. So I thought I'd give it to her. It's this beautiful, beautiful little pearl bag from Public Desire. I love this one because it has a nice little flap as well. So, um, you know, things are a little bit more protected. It's not going to hold that much. That's the only thing. I got her this little, well, it's not little, it's this big makeup bag from Typology. It has two different patterns, which I thought was really cool. And it holds a lot. It's a really good size makeup bag. And the inside, I thought I'd fill it with some goodies. So let me just show you what I put inside. Put a mixture of makeup and skincare because skincare was the main thing she wanted. First up, we got this Lizelle uh, washcloth, a Lizelle moisturizer. We've got a retinols, Lizelle retinol paste cleanse and polish or skin tonic boost the tonic boost thing bigger one and then for the last skincare item i added this estee lauder micro essence thing in last things i put in are all makeup products so the first thing is this jouer blush quad it's really really nice so i thought she could try that so this pixie beauty base primer another thing from jouer is this lip balm um, another thing from Jouer is this lovely makeup brush it looks so so soft um but the thing i really really love about these makeup brushes are the fact that you can close them um it just means that it's a bit more hygienic and then the next thing is little Jouer blush little pump thing um you just open it and then you roll it up and that's what it looks like and then i think you can just brush it over your cheeks um, but she loves blush, so I thought she would really, really like this. And the last thing is this Jouer little um, handheld mirror that she could put in her new bag if she wanted. It's so, so beautiful. I don't know if you could see all of the detail. Sorry, that was not the last thing. The last thing is this little bubble that I made for her when I went to a Pixie Beauty event. It's really cute. So it's just a little bubble and the inside is a bunch of glitter and one of their products i think it's like a cleanser or something and then i just wrote like happy birthday on this little tag for her i hope that gives you some inspo um so yeah that is the vlog thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy this kind of random mismatch of uh things that i was up to this vlog see you next time bye